I mean, Final Fantasy 15 is an excellent game. All of us gamers will agree to that. But let me tell you, there are a lot of hidden tips and tricks as well that can really enhance your experience as a gamer. So here are the tricks, tips and sage advice that I wish I knew before I started playing Final Fantasy 15. But that's okay. No such regret for you guys because I'm here. So let's get started. Play the tutorial. This may sound like an absolute no-brainer guys, but but let me tell you, it's vital to your success later on to go ahead and get the tutorial out of the way. Final Fantasy XV gives you the option to skip tutorial play and jump right into the adventure, which is definitely tempting after you've waited so long to play the game. But hold your horses. Square Enix does a good job of walking you through the basics of combat and exploration in the game. But many of the advanced techniques that can really turn the tide in combat only come from either experience or learning about it in tutorial. I mean honestly, come on, what's an extra 10-15 minutes of the tutorial when you come out well prepared on the other side? Make use of wait mode if combat is getting too tricky. Guys, if you're finding combat a little bit too difficult or chaotic, well then, don't worry, solution is there. Final Fantasy XV's wait mode is an absolute lifesaver, guys. If you have Venus's analyzability, you can pause the flow of battle and line up your next attack. But you can also look at an enemy's weakness and health to assess which target is the best to attack next. It means battles become more tactical compared to the seemingly chaotic encounters of real-time combat. Get an instant stamina boost. When you're not driving your car or riding a chocobo, the quickest way to get around on foot is by, you guessed it right, sprinting. The trouble with sprinting though is that it wears you out and you'll spend your time running in short bursts and strolling in between. Thankfully, there's a little trick that you can use. I have been using this trick for the last few months and it's been absolutely perfect. A quick visit to the options menu lets you turn it on and see when your stamina is about to deplete. When running, let go of the sprint button just before you run out of steam and press it again right after. Your stamina bar will fill right back up and Noctis will get a little spurt of extra speed. Not bad, huh? Don't venture out at night unless you absolutely have to. Now this is literally an advice that we have been hearing from our parents ever since we were kids. And trust me, it stands true for Final Fantasy XV as well. In the early stages of Final Fantasy XV, you'll want to camp up or find a hotel at night because you don't want to be venturing about in Lucas once the sun goes down. Not only are enemies stronger, but new monsters that you don't see during the day spawn and they are far tougher than you could possibly imagine at such an early stage. Basically, unless you have to do a hunt mission at night or you have a desire to be shanked in the dark, stay indoors or in a tent at night. Always check the local stores for key items. Guys, let me tell you something. Staying on the shore and shopping theme, it's always worth checking in at a shop even when you don't need any supplies. Shops tend to sell a selection of interesting and key items that you can make use of. I mean, who knows? A shop might have a fishing rod that Noctis can use to catch a bigger and better fish. They may even have components that you might need to craft a weapon upgrade. Hmm? However, the most important items that they tend to stock are Final Fantasy soundtracks that you can listen to while you drive. Yup, you heard that right. You can speed down the roads of Lucas while listening to Man with the Machine Gun from Final Fantasy XV or the Golden Saucer theme from Final Fantasy VII. It's every Final Fantasy fan's dream come true. And that's it from my side, guys. But hey, I'm sure you'll have some cool tips to share as well. So why don't you return the favor? Share your tricks with me. I'm trying to get better at the game too, you know? Do share your thoughts and keep watching this space for more such fun content. See you in the next one.